There's more updates on this story in a second. My name is Hassan Piker. I am a political commentator on Twitch and on YouTube. Hey, hey, happy June. Hello. My name is Sherelle Dorsey. I am founder and CEO of The Plug. I do not consider myself to be a journalist, no. I guess you could say I'm a political influencer. I definitely consider myself a journalist. We're a subscription-based news platform covering insights about the Black innovation economy. I love it, I love it. I broadcast my commentary live on the platform Twitch. Just live modestly like Jesus did? Yeah. It's a live streaming platform. It's like YouTube, but for live streaming. And uh, that's what I do uh, every day from 11 a.m. Pacific for the eight hours afterwards. Is this actually the grossest attempt at uh, eradicating free speech laws? Instead of watching video on demand, you can watch continuous live broadcast and you can actually communicate with the streamers themselves through the chat. Caitlyn Jenner to compete in the women's golf tournament, but also Caitlyn Jenner, if you're a biological boy, you shouldn't be in girls sports. Oh my God. The overwhelming majority of my revenue comes from subscribers uh, that pay either $5 a month or uh, will use their Twitch Prime, which you can donate uh, to get uh, TTS, which is text to speech. Um, to have whatever your donation, whatever you wrote out to be read during the stream. Reading enemy movements, directional awareness, character movement, combat. All right, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm uh, ending the TTS for today. I'm only teasing. All right, yeah, this is it. Cut the malarkey, though. I think that Twitch streaming will probably be around for a, a very long time. I grew up wanting to be like John Oliver, and then that kind of became a, a non-viable option. There's probably a little bit more legitimacy and longevity that comes from becoming an anchor. That certainly, there's a lot of protection that comes along with that. But uh, I like doing this. So the plug is pretty multi-layered. We cover startups, other tech firms. We cover policies and workforce development initiatives that are really impacting the future of business and work. It's completely free. It gives you the rundown at the top of every week of what to know in black tech innovation um, across the board. Welcome to day one at The Plug. We are so, so excited to have you on board. The Plug was somewhat accidental for me. Um, I grew up in Seattle, Washington, across the like Microsoft campus. And so in high school, worked at Microsoft every year. Most of my instructors and mentors within the tech space were black and brown people. Um, they were women. The idea that we weren't represented in the space or that we didn't have at all any kind of visibility in the space, particularly within journalism and how journalism was talking about black and brown people in tech, was so, so disconnected from the experience that I had had. And so starting the plug was really a reflection of wanting to see deeper stories as the gig economy was taking off. As a paid member, you get exclusive access and first dibs on every new piece of reporting. We've been a small team, and that's allowed us to be careful and deliberate about the way in which we tell stories as well as what we cover um, and why. I really consider you know, this community of people who want to see black business progress in news in a rigorous way, and I want us to continue to harness that. Great seeing everyone, bye. I like very little alienation from my labor. These are things that are important to me, and it gives me a lot of freedom. I'm my own boss. I initially launched The Plug in 2016 just as a labor of love. The Plug is how I make a living these days. I was able to put myself on salary last year, which is always the dream of someone going into entrepreneurship. I am in a place where I am financially comfortable, absolutely. But I do Twitch because I like doing Twitch. I like having a community that I can go to every single day and broadcast. So the fact that I'm able to make money off of it, great. Uh, it's awesome. I believe that we're going to continue to see the growth of black business and black-led startups. We're going to see ongoing multi-billion dollar companies created by these incredible founders and leaders. I care about doing something that I enjoy, and something that I enjoy happens to be what I uh, do for a living. So I'm very fortunate in that, in that sense.